Hello, my awesome and amazing Tauruses. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you a special bonus reading. Today is Monday, July 17th of 2023. It's the new moon in the sign of Cancer. So we're beginning a new moon cycle phase, okay? So this is the time where everything closes out a cycle. And now we set our new intentions for the next two weeks to see things grow and expand, putting our faith into our ideas, our dreams, our goals, and allowing spirit to help guide us, okay? Because a lot of times when we make intentions on the new moon or set those goals forward, you start to see an increase by the time we get to that full moon. And the next full moon will be on August 1st of 2023. The full moon in the sign of Aquarius, okay? So we're going to see what the new moon in Cancer is bringing. Of course, Taurus, you rule over the second house of the Zodiac, okay? And also, um, Cancer rules over the fourth house of the Zodiac. So I'm going to show you. Oh, wrong card. I had Libra. Uh-oh. Libra. Maybe you're dealing with the Libra, Taurus. Let's get my beautiful Taurus out. Thank you for letting me catch that spirit. All right, let's see something. Where is beautiful Taurus? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Where are my Tauruses? Huh? Taurus, where'd you go? Hang on. Ah, there you are. There you are, Taurus. All right. Spirit's also telling me you could be dealing with a fixed sign, an Aquarius, possibly another Taurus, a Leo, or a Scorpio. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. So everything's going to be fine, Taurus. Okay? So let's go ahead and dive into the energy. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Taurus viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. Power of number six. Power of number seven. And power number 10. Okay. <clears throat> so it looks like we're going to go to the number 23. Some of you Tauruses are dealing with a Gemini or a Cancer born in the month of June. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. You may be dealing with a Libra and or possibly a Scorpio born in the month of October. But with the power of number 10, it can bring in the fixed signs. Again, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Okay. <clears throat> you may be also dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March, picking up on Aquarius and Pisces energy born in the month of February. You could also be dealing with an, um, a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January, picking up on Sagittarius and Capricorn energy born in the month of December. Okay. Also seeing, again, Scorpio and Aries energy very uh, through the number 16, which is the Tower card. Uh, very strong Aquarius energy, again, through the number 17, that would be the Star card. Power of number 0, Aries energy, again, with the number 1. So we could see the Fool card. That would show or indicate fresh new start, brand new beginning. With the number 1, Magician energy, could be dealing with a Gemini, an Aries, possibly a Virgo for some of you. Strong Scorpio energy coming in through the number 13, which is a death card, major changes, transformation, okay? Um, any of the knights or the queens could kick in. There could be a celebrity spying in on you. Maybe you are a celebrity, Taurus. Just looking at the combination of numbers. Strong Pisces energy coming in again through the number 12. Okay. Because we can see the Hanged Man card. But going to the power of number 23 for the beautiful star sign 
of Taurus, new moon in the sign of Cancer for July 17th of 2023. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Trusted ancestors of my Taurus viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please, for this new moon in the sign of Cancer for July 17th of 2023? What should Taurus <clears throat> be aware of or what is headed as a new beginning for Taurus, please show me what's up. Ah, there's an end of a cycle, or there could be somebody that you know of, uh, Taurus, that wants or basically cannot let go of your energy. Okay, somebody could try to come back in and try to revitalize a connection, and or you could be struggling or battling, releasing or letting go of something that does not serve your highest purpose. The whole point of the new moon is it's a blackout moon. When it's blackened out, it's to release, banish, cut, clear, let everything go. Whatever has been a burden in your life, if it's been toxic relationships, let it go. Move on. Walk away. It's like being in the eight of cups mode. Wash your hands of the situation and look towards the future. I feel that some of this has to do with either friends, it could be family members and or a potential partner, okay, that I feel has let you down. And there could be this guilt for some of you that you may want to release some of these toxic people, but you don't want to look like the bad guy or the bad lady, you know what I mean? Um, to let go of these people that are just not serving you. Because these, maybe you give these people, Taurus, numerous times over and over again to prove themselves. And they just keep betraying you. Spirit saying, you've got, you got to let go. Something toxic, something that is dragging or weighing your energy down has got to get released. Okay. Yep, full card, power of number zero. Could be dealing with an Aries. I've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy also coming in. Yeah, it's, it's time to release. What is not, think about everything that is not serving your highest purpose right now. It is time to take a leap of faith on you, Taurus. Put yourself out there using more wisdom, more discernment, especially when it comes to your romantic life when it comes to your career what is the fool bringing in for Taurus I think there's a better offer <laughs> you got a knight of pentacles could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn <clears throat> headed in your direction a better partner. So whatever dark and gloomy or gray times that you've had before in the past, the sun, the sun is also going to shine again on you, Taurus. Somebody who can bring in a better commitment or there will be a better offer. You could have gotten backstabbed and betrayed at a job situation. The Queen of Swords. Time to set boundaries. Again, more Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini energy. Time to set boundaries with people, places, things, situations, job situations, 
In a job-related situation, for some of you Tauruses, you could have been a whistleblower. You could have felt that maybe there was some form of injustice at your job. This is directly, effectively communicating. Some of you could be in a same-sex relationship. You could be demanding somebody to speak their truth. There's some kind of direct communication or somebody wants to convey or direct maybe certain feelings, a plan of action. There could be a tumultuous situation going on between you, Taurus, and a mother figure. Somebody could be demanding respect. Respect is earned. There could be people in the past, Taurus, that have accused you of maybe being cold-hearted when in truth, Tauruses are very loving, giving, nurturing. There could have been rumors about you, people starting vicious lies, things like that. When they don't even know you. The flying monkeys, basically. You could have been accused of something that you didn't do. But whatever it is, whatever has held you back, whatever the drama is, it's time to release and let it go. Take the, high, take the, take the higher path. Take the path of least resistance. Because there's something here about a, a better new beginning here for you. A lot of it is about your determination your willpower to go the distance. And, and some of you might have needed to cut off certain friends or family members. They could have been trying to tell you how to live your life. There could be a narcissistic mother or parent or family members that are trying to tell you what to do. Maybe you've tried to show these friends or family members a lot of love, but it's not being reciprocated. You could be getting the third degree. People putting the blame on you for something. What is the Queen of Cups? What is the Queen of Cups for Taurus? Yeah, moving on. Moving on, possibly moving. Could be text messages coming in out of the blue unexpectedly. Could be from a potential suitor. What is this forward movement or moving on for Taurus? To head towards real love. If this is in regards to, for some of you guys that can identify with some of this energy, in regards to a romantic partnership, there's someone better. You may be at a breaking point where a relationship connection is not going the way you would like to see it go. That doesn't mean that you're trying to control the flow, but I feel that somebody is not putting in their best effort. They may be the ones that are trying to control when this is going to happen and when that's going to happen and making these promises and if they're in and out and they don't get back to you. I feel like there's also a guilt trip of something going on here as well. Or somebody feels that you are not being very understanding, Taurus, when in truth, that's, that's not the case. 
Somebody has backstabbed and betrayed you, friends or family members, numerous times. And it's like for some of you, Tauruses might try to keep sticking out the situation, maybe hoping that something here is going to get better. I feel with the Queen of Swords, it is about cutting off whoever in your life does not serve your highest good because there's a better reward, Taurus. There's like major romance, emotional joy, fulfillment somewhere else. If you have been abused, ignored, neglected. If somebody has degraded you, made you feel like you're nothing, that person should not be in your life and you shouldn't be in theirs because there is something better. There's more of a divine union elsewhere, a bigger love, a bigger emotional, somebody who could come in and have more emotional maturity. Message from the Ace of Cups. Yeah. Move on away from the confusion. Somebody here in the past has made you a choice or an option. Or has tried to gaslight you, ghost you, confuse you. No, you got the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. Fate and destiny is where it's at right now. Your happiness is on the line. And I feel it's about you moving on. It's like to move on to your over the rainbow moment. Walk away. There you go. Eight of cups. Taurus, walk away. It is safe for you to walk away. It is safe for you to protect your mental health and your emotional health. You deserve better. If you've been going through a trying time with friends, family members, a potential suitor, lover, they're not stepping up to the plate. They broke your heart, smashed it into millions and billions of pieces. Then they, then they never cared about you. They only wanted out of you what they could get. But there's, some, there's somebody better. There's a soulmate that is better. Somebody here could also be energetically with this Queen of Swords blocking this Knight of Pentacles coming towards the Queen of Cups to be able to move on and have this quote unquote happily ever after. Somebody could have a potential mother-in-law that has a maybe sick and twisted way of how she shows her son love or tries to get her son on her side. There's a very vindictive, narcissistic mother-in-law. I also picking up that there's jealousy, that there's jealousy going on. But this could also have to do with your work environment, lady boss figure you could be dealing with that's a pain in your, a thorn in your side, Taurus. If the job situation has become toxic and you can't function and your stomach is twisting and turning come Monday morning, dreading to go into that J-O-B, journey of the broke, it's time to move on. And take a leap of faith and get into something better for your peace of mind, peace of heart. This new moon and cancer energy could bring in also too an apology. Could bring in some form of romantic communication or again, a start of a new beginning. Somebody who may want to get to know you, Taurus, for you single Tauruses. There's somebody better off in the distant horizons. I feel like also, too, that this, this page of cups can end up turning into this ace of cups. Because the page is only holding one cup. Ace of cups is one cup. There's a choice that needs to be made. Somebody could have blindsided you to the truth, created conflict for you. 
Nobody can control your thoughts, Taurus, except you. You are in the driver's seat at all times. This is about you not tolerating the bull-ish. You know what I mean? Your happiness is on the line right now to make a choice, to make a decision. You could have been emotionally stuck on this particular person that has hurt you or these friends or these family members that have hurt you because you want to be the dutiful son or you want to be the dutiful daughter. But where is your happiness? Where, where's your happiness, Taurus? I'm hearing the, the word annihilation, like feeling annihilated. I think people have misunderstood you, Taurus, in the past. This is also about setting healthy boundaries. And people, you know, it's so funny when we set boundaries with people, they think that we're the irrational ones. You know what I mean? <laughs> because who's to say, Taurus, that whoever you've been dealing with or friends or family members, they, it's like they expect you to always say yes. And then when you say no, you look like the bad guy. Most of the times Tauruses are, will be willing most of the times to lend a helping hand. But I feel like there's also been this energy where somebody has taken advantage of you or people have taken advantage of you and your good nature. You could have borrowed money to someone and they still haven't paid it back. They could be making up tons of excuses. There's so many so many storylines I could pick up just connecting cards to these cards to individual cards. It would end up being an over an hour reading. But the main message is it's time to walk away from what is not serving your highest purpose and take this leap of faith because there's somebody better. There's a better relationship. This could be you taking a leap of faith, maybe after putting your love and devotion into someone and they weren't giving you that full blown out commitment. I feel like with this page of cups, this is something that could be the start of a new beginning that can grow into that beautiful ace of cups to have the real love that you're looking for to, to have a healthy relationship, a healthy partnership. But there's a choice and the choice is residing within your mind. I'm hearing the song, uh, one of the songs that I was raised with uh, in the Catholic Church was Be Not Afraid. Be Not Afraid. Be Not Afraid to Walk Away. Be Not Afraid to Cut Ties with What Is Not Serving Your Highest Purpose. Flat out, black and white, nothing more, nothing less. We cannot control Taurus the things that people will say or talk about us behind our back. Because I do feel that there's jealousy and I also feel that we'll just say the dirty birds. The dirty birds that are talking behind your back, let them. They obviously have nothing better to do than to talk about you. Such a waste of life. You know what I mean? Have nothing better to do. All that time and energy that they could have been gab gossiping, whispering about you. They could have gone, gone and started building their own business. Time is money. Money gives us choices and options to do nice things. It's what they could have been doing with their time. You're not going to be able to control everybody's verbiage. But just, it, it's time to move on to something better. And, and for some of you, it's probably 
maybe for a little while it's been probing at you. But it could have been a very difficult decision to cut off, go no contact, etc. Because you're not willing to settle for less than what you deserve. I don't know of any fixed sign because I'm your sister Scorpio. Who is going to settle for less than what they deserve? Tauruses are very black and white. There really is no in-between. It's the same for Aquariuses and it's the same for Leos. It's either yes or it's no. No in-between. So keep on keeping on, my beautiful Tauruses. There's a new beginning and it starts with you. My awesome and amazing Tauruses, if you would like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant Victoria will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.